Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope, your weekly love forecast horoscope for April 23rd to the 29th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you like a personal read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, let's switch up camera views here. So we're gonna talk about your day today, your love interest feelings, the block plays and challenges, and the overall outcome. If you guys like this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna have my Capricorn's romantic life for April 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we can see here the Two of Pentacles is coming out, Capricorn. The Queen of Swords. The Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, excuse me, the Six of Swords, the High Priestess card energy, the Hermit card energy, and the King of Cups, which is a good card, okay? It's coming at the end of the week here. Okay, so, and this is the Love Interest Feelings. And this is the blockage this week. Okay, so that you guys are lacking a little bit of hope in your romantic love life with the Star card energy. Um, I feel like emotionally you guys are kind of like kind of like trying to bring things into balance here. I feel like you kind of don't know where to go with your situation. You're trying to get some kind of answers. I feel like um, some of you may be doing a little bit of meditation to try to kind of get more clarity about your situation. There could be a spiritual connection also with the star card coming out. Um, you're trying to connect with someone here, okay? Or someone's trying to connect with you spiritually, also with the star card energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we got the full card energy, we got the queen of wands, and we got the world card, really good cards. See, the overall energy is the four of wands. So some of you are dealing with a situation where there's a there could be a situation moving into a more serious commitment here because I feel like something is about to be brought to light here uh, about a stable foundation or stability in this connection. It's like things have come all the way full circle now and it's like now there's gonna be this conversation that's gonna take place, Capricorn, and we see, yep, the Hierophant card is right below it and we see that somebody had possibly walked away from a marriage, okay? or uh, there was a, a walking away from a relationship here and now something has, or something is gonna come full circle here with this connection. It seems like you guys had this, in, this situation before. Okay, so we see that the two of pentacles is here. Remember this is April 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. So we see that on the 23rd, it looks like you guys are like in a situation where you're kind of like going back and forth like about a decision. It's a little bit risky and you're a little bit concerned, but it's like a little bit of juggling going on here. Okay, with the two of pentacles energy. All right, I need to weigh a heavy decision. And pentacles have to do with uh, money, family, children, long-term commitment. So there's a heavy decision being made on this day. Let's see what that's about. I can see that the next card looks like there is some kind of truth coming out, Capricorn. Some kind of truth coming out. So it looks like someone is spying on you, all right, or checking in on you. I feel like they're seeing you with another person and they feel like there's something, something there with that person, okay? And they're hiding their thoughts with the seven of swords energy, Capricorn. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see what's going to come out here. Yeah, someone is thinking about you, okay, with the thoughts card. There is a... Uh, Definitely um, a situation where they're feeling hurt and isolated. Okay, so what's gonna have my Capricorn's romantic life for April 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So on this day, on the 29th, it seems like there is a great um, outcome, great fortune because of a heavy decision that's being made. Okay. We see that there is a truth that's coming out because of, of wanting value or lacking value or wanting appreciation, okay? And we see that the Seven of Swords energy is clarified by some deceptions, some concerns about um, some kind of deceptions or hidden things going on or lying, okay? So 
Let's keep going here, Capricorn. What's going to happen to Capricorn's romantic love life for April 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we see that you guys are trying to gain knowledge, something yet to be known, about making a decision towards something that's going to make you happy. Okay? We see that... There's a truth coming out because someone may lack appreciation or they want appreciation or there was some kind of gift that was received and someone's going to speak their truth because they feel like something is deceptive about it or something hidden about this situation. Okay, so the isolation card is coming out. Someone's been thinking very deeply and it looks like there's a decision that's about to be made here. The waiting is about to be over because of some kind of sad news or feeling like there's going to be some kind of sad news. And it's like, how do I be honest with you about the situation? There's some kind of deception, something hidden about this. Okay. So it looks like so far gaining knowledge, really thinking about things deeply to make a decision in the first three days. Okay, and a decision that's going to make you happy because there is a truth that you want to speak here uh, to this person because you feel like something is hidden, something's deceptive, or there's a sense of hiding here with the Seven of Swords energy. Okay, so going here to the Six of Swords, it looks like the past is going to be examined here. That's what I feel like from this card. I feel like the past is going to be examined and um, you're looking ahead to the future and you're seeing that, okay, things can be healed here. I can overcome this barrier, this challenge, this obstacle. So this day is about overcoming your obstacles and there is big changes happening. We got the change card coming up and we see that you're working out these things from the past. Okay. When it came to these unhealthy reflections of the past and forgiveness of the past, that's what I feel like. I feel like from that particular card, my intuition tells me that you guys are going to examine things from the past on this day and you're ready to move forward and move past that. Okay. And there's, it's changes. You're, you're definitely going through some changes here on this day. Okay. So we see that the high priestess card energy is coming out. Don't worry, I'm going to bring it all together. Um, the High Priestess card energy is coming out. So on the 27th, there's some kind of air of mystery here. Okay. Or again, the book card, this is like the book card energy here, the High Priestess, you're gaining some kind of knowledge. You're using, listening to your intuition here on this day. You're getting some kind of spiritual message also for some of you. And, um, you're feeling like this person's not being real with you, being honest with you. There's something deceptive, something hidden, something beneath the surface there. Um, and it's causing you some stress here. Okay. And again, we're in the mode of, you guys are in the mode of like the hermit card energy. You're really doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about your situation to bring light to it. And we see that you're kind of isolating yourself on this day of the 28th. Yeah. You're spending some time alone. We see the single and available, or there may be concerns that is this person really single and available? Are they with someone else? Is there something else going on here? Okay. So, okay. So there's a, there's a lot of examination and self-examination, a lot of internal work going on here, uh, connecting with your intuition, you know, doing some meditation and stuff like that for some of you guys. So we see the King of Cups energy is coming out for the 29th. We see there's love here. There's a stable love here coming in and there is this person that's really thinking about you. They're doing some planning here with the thoughts card, but still there's concern is, are they being honest with me? Is there something deceptive? Okay. So we see this week it's, there's something hidden here that you're really thinking about and trying to make a decision. There seems to be a lot of regrets about what happened with the past. There's some stress about a situation because somebody needs to be single and available, or you're trying to isolate yourself from these deceptions, or you're kind of having a lot of self doubt about the situation when it comes to this person telling you the truth. Okay. So let's go down another layer and don't worry, we're going to sum this all up as well. Okay. So, you're like, wow, okay, this is really great. I feel really happy about this gift or this uh, information that I've received, okay? But I feel sad about this or, you know, my thoughts are kind of sad. But then the sadness changes because then you feel like something, there's something hidden about the situation and you're wanting to isolate yourself from it. But you keep thinking about it with the thoughts card energy. Um, okay, so let's keep going.
Okay, so there's been a debate going on, a back and forth energy going on about a choice. And the truth, someone speaks their truth about the fact that there's some kind of deceptions or something hidden about the situation. You're, just, you're like, okay, I can move past this and I can overcome this challenge, this barrier, Six of Swords energy. I can begin the healing process here. But we see that I feel like some of you guys are gonna get some kind of spiritual message. Something's gonna be brought to light to you guys, okay? Because that makes sense of why the star card is here for the blockage. You're getting some kind of uh, information, some kind of vision, something is coming to you guys intuitively and it's bringing light to the situation. But we do see by the end of the week, King of Cups is saying Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There is a decision. You're trying to make the best decision when it comes to love because there is love here with the King of Cups energy. But you're feeling like something is hidden about the situation. Don't worry, I'm going to bring it all together, guys. How does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about Capricorn, how does your love interest feel about you? Okay. And we see the uncertainty, bringing the balance and defensive. Okay, so your love interest wants your attention, Capricorn. Your love interest wants to argue or debate with you about putting the work or effort into this or because you may be spending so much, they may feel like you're spending too much time at work. Your love interest feels like there's a sense of loss here and in actions or they want to make an abrupt decision here. Uh, Page of Swords could be saying they're trying to get a, a new perspective about the situation. Your person feels uncertain and they want to bring something into balance and they're defensive about it. Okay, so let's get more information about the star card energy. Okay, coffin and patience. Okay, I feel like some of you guys you're concerned. Okay, so what I feel like for some of you guys, there may have been a situation where someone is uh, trying to end a relationship because I feel like that's been a theme for you guys. In your past readings, it seems like there is a the person that's supposed to be ending a relationship, okay, and it's been kind of back and forth kind of energy. Uh, I feel like you kind of feel like they're still seeing that person, okay, or they may have ended up that situation, but you still feel like they're kind of seeing that person and you're intuitively, you're getting a message and you're kind of like, should I be patient? Should I invest time? Should I end this situation altogether? Death card energy. Okay, so we see the full card coming in, okay? As something new or someone new, okay? And we see main person, we see friends, we see money, and we see confusions. Okay. Okay, so we know you guys have to make some kind of decision this week. And a truth comes out about some lying and deceptions, okay? And we see that you guys are going to internalize this. You feel like you can get past that kind of energy, right? So we see the pathway card is like, all right, there's some kind of long-term planning. This is also like the Six of Swords energy. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel, but I am worried about this main person, which could be you, could be the love interest. Should I take a risk? Should I take a leap of faith here? I do have attraction here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and... We are at a distance. There's something a uh, long distance about this situation with the world card energy, or I want things to come full circle. I want to be more than just friends, and there's something of value here, but I'm really just confused. Um, we see family and long-term commitment. I want to make a power move towards this love connection. You really make me happy. Ten of Cups energy. There's some good news about love. Ace of Cups energy, because we saw the King of Cups there. We see the Threat card, something sudden in a decision. So something is going to take away uh, a sudden situation. So something that was taken is suddenly going to happen and you're going to have to make a decision, a decision about love, Ace of Cups energy. We see Ace of Cups. So a sudden decision is going to be made about love, Ace of Cups energy, because of a message you receive that makes you happy, Ten of Cups energy. We see reconciliation, indecisions about it, whether or not it would make you happy. And we see there's some communication happening here. You're defensive about this communication because you've got to make a decision. We see a main person card coming out. It's something to do with long distance again. We see the travel card energy and wanting some kind of control or structure or uh, making a power move here. Okay, so main person needs to make a decision uh, because of the sense of control, okay? Some worry and anxiety happens because of something sudden in a journey or movement or change. We see that there has been some kind of a long way or long-term planning that was taken away because of a person. 
there is some kind of risk that's taken towards happiness because of communication. So let's bring this all together, okay? So it seems to me like you're making a heavy decision this week, okay? And um, there is a truth coming out about somebody who wasn't being completely honest with you about some kind of gift they received or something of value, okay? Uh, you're wanting to move forward because you're feeling like, okay, I'm seeing intuitively there's some stuff coming up here and I feel like we can move past these barriers because I do feel like there's healing, recovery, and love here. And, um, but I'm, I'm at a crossroads of whether or not this situation, I can really reconcile with it because I don't know if it's gonna make me completely happy with the 10 of cups energy. Yes, we have love here, ace of cups energy, but I am confused about what to do. All right, I know that's a little bit of cliffhanger Capricorn, but the monthlies are up and the mid monthlies are up to get more information for the rest of the month. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.